Hey guys, Roman Spike here, back again once again, and today we are doing another Genshin Impact stream. So, last Wherever time this we... World I, roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. Alright, as I was saying before I got interrupted, last time we were going to heal the Dendro Dragon, and we succeeded in that. So now we are on our next adventure to the new region, so let's go ahead and check it out. Um, let's see. I believe it's this one? Alright, so let's go ahead and head on over to Caravan Reebok. Alright. the first time we came here. Oh, Paimon remembers! Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. So much time has already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yes, but as long as we're around. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. She was super tired. Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. All right, let's continue our journey. Next stop, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. I had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Journey should be spontaneous. Dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Hmm. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In her case, she'll know us from our dreams anyways. Oh, goodbye. 
the point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Take care. Wish to hear it. All right, uh, that was weird. Good old caravan rebot. Huh. Now let Paimon think. What were we up to the first time we came here? Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. So much time has already passed. Since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time, and then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. It's hard to say what will happen. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. But somehow we always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble! I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. Huh? Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble! At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea! And even then, you fished Paimon out! Uh, anyway... For Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Alright, let's continue our journey. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm, since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh. Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? We'll leave as soon as we finish a few more preparations. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Hmm. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In her case, she would probably already know. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Bye, dear.
source water nation added to the archive. So this is supposed to be Fontaine. Wait, is this where we came from? What's back here? Check this out before we go into Fontaine. Morning flower. I knew a freight would checking this stuff out because there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff in here. something at the end of this passage because I don't think we've ever been here before let's see all right I know we're about to head to Fontaine but I do want to check this out before we go First, from the looks of it, we already have the teleport waypoint, so we can just teleport back without having to traverse this entire cave. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and make our way over to Fontaine, I guess. I actually cannot believe that we're actually heading on to Fontaine. All right. Well, let's make our way down. There's so much water. So is that the boat that we're supposed to be taking over there? Or are we just supposed to take a wave rider? From the looks of it, we're probably just taking a wave rider. Let's go ahead and take the Wave Rider and head on into Fontaine. Alright. It's going to be so interesting to explore this whole new area, this whole new country. Plus, I believe they, I remember them saying that Fontaine is one of the most developed places. Oh wait, what is that? Hydrophilus? Already? Alright. I was not expecting to get a Hydrophilus already. Alright, let's make our way over to the port, I guess. Or the harbor. Huh. What, what the heck? We have animatronics? Where's the Statue of the Seven, though? 
it says that this is where we're supposed to go. This bulletin board has been specially set up by the Harbor Master of Roma Roma Ritime Roma Ritime Harbor to publicize all important matters in all around the harbor. Any questions may also be posted here. All right. Wanted name unknown. Seeking any and all relevant information. Male Fontanian. One leg is a prosthetic replacement. Known as... Okay, gosh, dang. I wasn't even able to see what his alias was. Rewards are available for information leading to the capture of this inter individual. If you have any related information, please contact the mansion... Garden Minage? Gardena. Gardenage. Okay. The mansion Gardenage would like to remind you that Rom Romaritime Harbor is near the desert, and a large number of illegal individuals calling themselves air mites have been active nearby. Merchants passing through should remain vigilant. Huh. If you see something, say something. Contact the mansion guard guardianage to deal with any suspicious persons. Attention all visitors. Any dueling within Fontaine will require an application registration with the appropriate authorities. Private unapproved duels are strictly prohibited. Any participants will be punished for the fullest extent of the law. Any of those losses and damages resulting from unauthorized private duels will be borne by the participants. Arrests may be made by Mason Gardinage and are not considered duels or dueling behavior. If you wish to uphold your honor, you may apply for a dueling for a duel during the trial process. Refrain from any last ditch resistance if you wish to avoid meaningless, meaningless losses. There's still more to read? The Mason Gardinage would like to remind you that Roti Roma I hate this name. Romar Romari Time Romar E. Time Harbor is near the desert large number Okay, so this is just repeating. Romar Romar E. Time. Okay, so what are we supposed to be looking for? Oh this? Whew. After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Oh this must be Fontaine's porch! This is a nice looking port though. Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines! It's even more impressive than I expected. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do! What do you think? Hmm, let's start by meeting the Hydra Archon. information at this point our journey is to find my sibling and also to find the truth yeah the more we can learn the better so what do you think the hydro archons like will we get along nahira said that she has a very unique personality whatever that means to learn about a nation's god start with the nation's people there seems to be some locals talking over there Let's go see if we can join the party! If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you two? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. 
we're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. Oh, so they see trials as some sort of opera. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things, it's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Huh. A judgment device created by the Archon. Pure trees? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you our question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Make an appointment? Time slots? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait. Didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets now! The Hydro Archon is kinda like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. It seems the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon, but they don't seem to revere her. Alright! I think we get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Making an appointment will take. Oh, guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey, what are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there. She's been standing alone for quite some time. Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Uh, hello there! Excuse me! Are you alright? Huh? Ah, I'm fine.
fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Maybe they're mermaids. Or a fantastical race from Fontaine? No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler! We just arrived in Fontaine! We were just talking with your sister! Uh... Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. There's hardly anything left for, for me to say when you're around, Paimon. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. when she said that the water is engulfing your memories and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too oh that it's from a prophecy that's been circulating in fontaine for some time now well i suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty there's no doubt about what's happening in fontaine now oh what's happening in fontaine where to begin Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. Hello, Lenny. It's a pleasure to meet you. And hello, Paimon. Hey! When did Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh! Alright then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Huh. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, follow me. Huh. 
Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands. Uh, is she talking about us? No one here seems to be holding our glass. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you've left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Well, finding the Archon was easy enough. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Archon entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Archon? How did you know we were coming? Ah, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. Feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? Is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course, that's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get 
get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Uh, now she wants to fight? Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Bring it on. Fighting gods? I've got a resume. trying to do, Traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? Ahem. Stand down, Clorant. I admire his bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Oh, yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <sighs> well, Aranius, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see. Then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! All right! Now that'll be worth seeing! Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? And we haven't committed any crimes. We literally just arrived here. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Uh... you have no objections then in the name of the hydro archon i order your arrest my apologies lady farina i don't mean to spoil the fun but if you would allow me to interject i don't think that paimon here meets the definition of a flying object you tell her Linny. finally someone who's not crazy how could anyone call paimon a flying object Great magician Linny, my beloved citizen, I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Patted you on the back.
So he knew about that law and he set that up earlier. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The God of Justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really. Thanks for bailing us out, Lenny. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, confusing is a good way to put it. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother's always excited to make new friends. Sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. I would be delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way we can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. 
No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. But now the water is engulfing our memories. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of rain. If the prophecy is true, then is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Alright, well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!